going to see my mom. Stay out of my way. Who are you, anyway? My name's Walter. Walter White. Walter Sullivan. It's time to complete the 21 sacraments. I just collected a, a cat from the one dude's room with the birthday cake. I think I'm looking for shit. I think that's what's going down. Yeah, I just got this cat here. I saw something about a cue ball that I might have passed last time I played. I'm getting tired. Getting tired. Uh, the one dude that got electrocuted, he's a ghost chilling, walking around now. Yo, what's up, Zed? How's it going? We getting a cutscene already? Oh no, just low in the next area. How you doing, Zed? How's your week? How's how's things been? I'm still playing some Silent Hill. Three months later, this game. It's a noise. Yeah, this game gives me some some trouble. It's the one I played the least. This week sucks. Um, huh. Not too shabby. Not too bad. <clears throat> um, yeah, I missed last week's stream. Unfortunately. So I'm, I'm looking forward to Jumping back into this. Just uh, just one of those weeks, Zed. Just been one of them weeks, or... I guess we're going back this way. I know there's one uh, alleyway I didn't go down yet. Uh, which Silent Hill have you played the most? Uh, Silent Hill 2, for sure. Um, what about you? Oh, this guy's running. When I say running, I mean floating very fast. He's zooming. Can't really afford to be losing all this health. Oh, uh, yeah, Silent Hill 2 for sure. What, what about you, Zed? But I think 3 is my favorite. It scares me the most. Some really scary noises happening. Yeah, we gotta find Brain Tree. Yo, two ghosts? Get on my way, bruh. Oh, my leg. My leg. Yo. Noise. <clears throat> yeah, definitely Silent Hill 2. Um, I've played all the other ones only one time. Besides 3. 2 and 3 I've played more than once. Check the brightness on this thing again. I always check it, but it just seems so dark. I know you guys said before it was just my monitor. It's probably just the way this uh, HDMI converter is is working. Cause this is dark as shit. I 
I've only played two, three, and four once. I started the first one, but wasn't able to finish it before it got erased from my ex's computer. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> um, also started Homecoming, but never finished it. I ran out of... really what happened to the city? Are we just going insane? Are we just going insane? Um, ran out of ammo during a boss fight and just never picked it back up afterwards. Oh, no. Yeah, I've only played Homecoming and Silent Hill 1 uh, one time as well. Are you, do you plan on ever finishing them up? <gasps> I was able to get Silent Hill 1 on the PlayStation Store. The PS3 Store before they started making things more complicated. So I got lucky with that. I don't have a physical copy of that one. I need to, though. Just in case if my uh, PS3 ever, ever dies. Yeah, they were running a sale and, and all that. I got it for like two bucks, I think. Oh yeah, this is the way I came from last time. There's a ghost in here too. By God. Yeah, this is where I came from. Let me see if I missed anything. If if I did, I can grab it. If I uh, if I didn't, I think I know where to go next. Just wish I had more health. Uh, I, I really hope to finish the first one. Homecoming's not how my to playlist. Yeah, I, I mean, I remember going into Homecoming, hearing all the shit that was talked on about it. I wonder if I went back and played it now, if I'd maybe think differently about it. I don't know, but I'm curious. I was a little biased when I played it the first time. Just hearing everyone saying it's shit. It's definitely not one of these uh, OG games, but it might be better than I remembered. It's a possibility. Why is it upside down? I don't know. That really trips me out, that puzzle. I was having a hard time with it a couple weeks ago. Yo, what's up, but daddy? But dad? What's up, Brosa Stalin? Dude, I don't know. I watched, uh, I was checking out a YouTube video, and, uh, you know, a pro Silent Hill 4 player, they had two hours left at the point where I was at, and I had, um, they were playing much faster than I am. I don't really know what to do and where to go, so I might, but also. Excuse me, it might take me one more time after this, but uh, maybe not an entire stream, which would be cool if that happened, but it's definitely a, a possibility. But how's it going, brother? How you been, man? How's your Wednesday? You all getting beautiful weather right now? Because it is glorious here in, uh, in PA. It has been real nice out. Homecoming, the Homecoming uh, soundtrack Zed has a lot of good songs on it. I don't know how you feel about that statement, but it's got a lot of good songs on it. If that's anything to go by for a good game, probably a little bit. Munching on some Skittles. Taste of Rainbow. Am I right? 
Am I right? 31 years old, still getting some uh, Easter basket candy. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it, man. Um, yo, Zed, did you see the, um, all the Silent Hill 2 movie information coming out? They got actors for it. Um, locked in some actors, locked in some, I think they're locked in a director and all that. I think they're even filming right now. So that's exciting. Oh, shit. This guy, he done came out of nowhere. I'm real close to dying. I'm in too much pain for it to be a dream. Plus, I can see you so clearly. This is reality. The elevator's not here. I literally just got done saying if that one way wasn't the correct way to go, that, uh, I'd be good. I'm, I'm not good. Oh, you know what? You can take this elevator up and down, can't you? Sure can. Alright, where am I at? Um. Yeah, the weather is nice here too. Uh, we only get a small window of days like this in Texas before it gets like 95 every day. So what's the weather like benign where you call it a nice day? We talk in, uh, like right now it's 85 degrees. And PA. So yeah, 95 is the hottest shit. We don't get that till the tail end of summer. Yo, what's up, Ray? Good morning. How's it going? How are you doing? What up, what up? Hmm. Hmm. Bottom button? Yeah, benign. What was that about? Is that new? Milestone achieved. That's got to be something new. I never seen that. Yeah, them after day uh, after Easter candy sales though for life, brother. Got to pick up them bags and bags of, of candy. I've been eating way too much of it. You didn't know about the movie Zed, or you knew about it and just haven't heard about it yet. Yeah, they got, um, if you look it up, they have some shots from, they have some shots from film and released and all that already. They're going to town. I hope it turns out all right. That Resident Evil movie sucked. So the, the, uh, god damn it. Hope so, I'm not feeling too, oh no. I'm going to keep expectations pretty low until I see some stuff from it. The movie had better be better than Silent Hill Revelations, which is a low bar. Yeah, Revelations was so bad. So bad. I was so excited to see that in the theater when it came out. And, uh, man. I was so disappointed. That was such a bummer. Yo, where's Eileen? Oh, she can't climb up ladders, can she? Or climb down ladders. Because her arm's broken. Yeah. She's chilling. Okay. Okay. I'll be like that sometimes. Um... Ooh, health. I'm gonna take that. Is that health? No, that's a health. That's ammo. Well, that's a bummer. I'll be right back up here. 
So I, I think I need to go that way. We are at a cool 61 degrees right now. Holy shit, Benign. It's uh, colder where you're at than where I'm at, which is unheard of. What's a cue ball doing here anyways? Take the cue ball. Nice. I mean, leftover Easter eggs. Oh, so did you guys do, uh, did you paint some Easter eggs, uh, Ray? Did you get the, the dye out and do all that? But I've been eating eggs the last three days, to be honest, also. I don't know if, um, in Australia they do, uh, what is it called? Deviled eggs? Or beet, where they, like, uh, sit them in a container with beets for a couple days? So I've just been uh, eating one of those like every day. 10 out of 10. So good. Cutscene, baby. Oh, oh. Damn. Is it not working? Oh, no, it's working. We're good. My name's Walter. Walter White. Walter Sullivan. It's time to complete the 21 sacraments. But that's my name. And what are the 21 sacraments? Don't worry. You'll know soon enough. Well, let's go and see Mother. Let me go, that hurts! Damn. Man, so much emotion. So much raw feeling. Coming from... Coming from Walter. Young Walter White Sullivan. Can't hold anymore, son of a bitch. Why does this always happen? If only I wouldn't grab this goddamn ammo. Fuck. Must have started this month because I've been on way longer than a three week streak. Yeah, that must uh, that must be a new thing. Uh, Bezos is trying out. Yeah, low expectations. After I saw that Resident Evil movie, I was just... I was so baffled. I couldn't believe that they even put that movie out. It was so bad. I'm gonna watch it again to give it another shot, but it is not good. So after... Ever since I've seen that, I think Resident Evil has a way bigger fan base than Silent Hill. And if they treated that uh, IP like that, man, who knows what's gonna happen. I saw Silent Hill Revelations Day came out. I knew it was going to be different from the game based on changes they made in the first movie. But good God, was that movie horrible. Even as a standalone horror film. Yeah, it's not scary at all. It's funny. If you want to watch it and just giggle to yourself, um, that that makes me, it makes me laugh, if anything. Cutscene's working. Thanks, Ray. Yo, JJ Outer, what's up, dude? Red Dragon, we talking, uh, was it the Hannibal sequel? Sequel? Signs of the Lambs kind of stuff? Right? Isn't that Red Dragon? That's on, uh, Netflix right now. Is that a ball? I cannot pick up any of this shit. I need to jump in a hole and get rid of all my ammo. Not going down there.
Yeah, that's the, like, real issue with these games. Like, just this inventory. Like, I, I'm going the right way. I can't pick up any of the shit I need. South Park sp uh, South Park spoofed it with the left-handed killer, or was it right-hand killer? They don't make good thriller movies like that anymore. Like, have you- have any of you guys ever seen the, uh... The Bone Collector as well? Well, that's like another good old thriller movie like that. I think... who's in that? I think J-Lo's in that? Maybe? Jennifer Lopez? A candle? Man, if only I could drop one of these. So annoying. Resi movie was terrible. Yeah, it was so bad. How, how do they do that? How did this happen? Yeah, Ralph... I can't even see that. Um... Shit. Look, I'm somewhere different entirely. I didn't go the right way. Here goes Eileen starting with her shit. US Netflix is so much better. Uh, what do you guys got on right now, Ray? Anything good on your, your, your Netflix? We got all sorts of room now. I only seen, uh... S-O-T-L. I need to see that shit. I had the pleasure of watching the entire series with my best friend who's a movie buff, and it's crazy how many SP parodies that I never understood. Now you have introduced another. Oh god. One day. One day. How you been though, Jay Jowder? What's new, brother? How's shit? Hmm. I'm scared. Ah, uh, man. I just passed, like, everything I need to keep progressing this level, and I have no room. Uh, she's something. She's not looking hot. She's looking like she's a little beat up. I'd say there's a high possibility that uh, Eileen's not going to make it on that, that final boss battle. She ain't looking too hot.
This is where I wanted to get, but if oh, yeah, no. there's that dude. He's gonna he's about to hit me. I'm about to die. Oh, there she is. God damn it. I don't think I've seen that movie, but I'm seeing Angelina Jolie was in Bone Collector with Denzel and Rooker. Yeah, that's it. That's the movie I'm talking about. Yeah, it's a real good movie. From what I remember, I was a wee lad, but I remember being scared. If you've seen Scary Movie 2, all right, let's do this right quick. This could either be a really bad idea, saving with this low of uh, life again, or... Good. Uh, if you ever seen Scary Movie 2, The Dude with Little Hands, that was a parody of... Uh, sequel Hannibal, where, where Hannibal has a guest sitting at his table and picks at his brain for dinner. Okay, I do know... I have seen that before. All right, we're emptying, emptying this shit. Yeah, I used to love those first three, uh... First three scary movie movies. They need to make a new one. Honestly. Fuck. Yeah, if I die here, I'm not even gonna be mad, because I think I know where to go this time. And I didn't accomplish anything except for pick up this cue ball. What the fuck? Oh, almost did it again. I almost overwrote that, uh, the wrong file. I love Scary Movie 1 to 3, but 2 was so overplayed on Comedy Central, so I'm numb to it. But I do remember it had Beetlejuice in Shorty's brain. Good shit. Yeah, I remember that too. Is that when he, he cut his noggin off? Fuck, I just went back out. Yeah, but I'm real. I'm real pumped to play that um, eco. I have that lined up to play next. I'm hoping I can get it in before I have to move on my shit. It'll probably be the last game I play until uh, I have to set all this back up somewhere else. Probs, I imagine. I think this is the right way. Alright. 
We gotta try not to take one hit. Until we get that health kit. I think we're gonna die. I'm scared. I'm scared. She is not scaled. Come on, Aileen. We got shit to do. Hey, there she is. Ah! No, Eileen. We're making moves. This isn't where the health is at, though. So that might still be a problem. Revolver bullets? No! I don't give a shit about the revolver bullets. Uh, why do you have to set up somewhere else? Uh, me and the wife got a house, so, uh, I'm gonna be doing some moving. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped up. Took a minute, but, uh, yeah, we got a spot, so I have to, I'll be plopping the green screen down, getting a little setup going. So I'm pretty excited about that. Little bit of growing pains. Uh, things have been going alright. I had a day yesterday that I never thought I'd experience. Well, I've been trying to get that Morse code video out where I just shit on the developers. Well, I have to replay that game. I did a quick Mario, Mario stream off my uh, SNES, which was fun. So you got that all hooked up? The, the SNES? And also, I saw you uh, working on that Morse code thing. How did you end up figuring that out? How would you? How would you even figure that out? Uh, speaking of games that are pure magic from the first second, I started playing... Man, I'm not even gonna try to do that one. I'm gonna butcher, butcher that to shit. For sure. <laughs> oh my god. Why? One hit closer to getting wrecked. I just want that health kit. Thank God. Woo -hoo. It's a good feel right there, man. I think there was more stuff out here I couldn't pick up yet. A ball or something? Wasn't there a ball out here? Yeah, there's that ball. Can I pick that up? Uh, this is a weird place for a volleyball game. Take the volleyball? Yeah. I don't know where I'm to put all these things at, though. I keep getting shit. Uh, someone made a fan video of cutscenes from Silent Hill 4 with Eileen set to the song. Come on, Eileen. Yeah, if this isn't the worst uh, escort mission, I don't know what is. And this part. Are these the worst enemies of any game? Son of dude. Gotta be. Whew. 
Whew. Hoo hoo. Yo, what's up, painted? What it is? Well, what's that? What's that game about, Banan? That uh, T C H I A. And I think I'm. I think I know what song you're talking about, uh, Zed. Just garbage, there's nothing useful here. It's good to know. Moving on up. Good luck with the move limbo. Shit is stressful as fuck, but hopefully have an easy time moving in. Just times a minute to get shit situated and figure things out. Yeah, man. That's what I'm I'm banking on. We gotta paint walls and do flooring and get a whole bunch of shit going. So I'm hoping I can get it get it all situated as fast as possible. So I can get back up and running. Cause, um, cause I enjoy doing this. It's gonna suck being down for a while. I'm not sure how long I'll be down, but hopefully not too long. But thanks, Jay Jowder. Thanks, Zed. Congrats on the house. You're a real grown-up now. I did it. I have bills. And I have to work all the time. And sit inside all day and... <laughs> this is amazing. Thanks, painted. Uh, there's a memo here. Look, if I would have just went down, uh, tried to make it past those wheelchairs, I could have possibly made it in here, but probably not, because I got wrecked like 20 times by them. Uh, the boss said we had to change our phone number because of all the complaints about the weird noises. Now we have to change the store sign on the roof. What a pain. By the way, the number is the last four digits of the new phone number. Not too smart if you ask me. I'd have to agree. You put the later bartender's memo into your scrapbook. I'm going to guess and say we want to throw this ball here. No. Is that the cue ball? No, this is cue ball. Is that it? We just got to put these balls in the rightful place. Soccer ball. Cue ball. Is this the puzzle? The cat? I wonder where that cat goes. Uh, I did not figure it out. I honestly can't. Lol, it's more or less hoping to figure out what random word it is. It has to be a four-letter word. Since it's a scary game, I think it has to be a scary word. I've seen some uh, solve it, but when I use their solution, it doesn't work. The game has a random generator, so it could have like a dozen different words as the solution. Uh, the ones I found didn't work in my stream playthrough. If I try again, I'll get a different word, so maybe it could work. Yeah, that's a good idea. It will, it will uh, run it through the... Um, yeah, just turning it off and on, you think that'll work? I saw you tagged him in that, uh, that IG post. Ballsy move, man. Ballsy. It's a real bummer trekking through this whole game only to get the bad ending. I will say that. That is a bummer. Because as of right now, that's kind of how I'm feeling this is going to go. My room's possessed as shit. Eileen's getting beat the hell up. 
Uh, it's about a girl named Chia who has the power to soul jump into various animals and objects in some family secret. The gameplay is fun the entire time. Even traversing is fun. A stark contrast to the last two bullshit ass games I played. Oh, are you is one of those games um days gone? Are you still feeling that like that was a was that a waste of time for you? I saw you were playing it a little bit. Um that game you told me to play is on sale right now. I need to I need to download it. I'm hoping it's still on sale. Um um It's the one that was like five bucks you were telling me to play. Something E Elfrith's something? I don't know. I'm probably not saying that right either. Just watch the trailer, hard to explain, but there's also a bunch of music, minigames, and a ukulele that you can pull out at any time that has an entire range of notes from uh uh, you can pluck single notes or play chords or strum up and down. So fucking good. Some, uh, well, like Last of Us Part 2, kinda? Because that was cool. I don't know if you've seen any of the, the videos of people, like, legit typing entire songs into Last of Us Part 2 with that guitar um, in the movie theater. That was pretty neat. That was pretty neat. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking this is the puzzle. Find this random shit and put it in the correct location. Also, I forgot entirely to check the phone number out like the letter literally told me to do. So I'm fucking up real hard. Enter in the hole. Uh, I've been there. My last move, I literally took a year off. I was always hesitant when to come back because landlord was remodeling and power was constantly going out and it fried my ps4 my cousin sent me his and that's the one i'm using now and his went out on me but it's all i got until i get my ps5 and i can really promote when i stream uh since the ps4 is shitting i don't want to promote a stream that could literally just randomly die dude i know the feeling brother oh my god what is going on in here there's a ghost coming out of the wall that's never good. That is never good. Alright, what number we got up here? Uh, 3750. 3750. No way I'm forgetting that. 3750. 3750. 3750. Oh man. This fucking room is going to shit. I'm really, I'm goofing so hard. Check this shit out. That is, if that isn't some scary fucking shit, can you imagine just waking up and seeing that shit? My God, what a scary ass game or scene. What the fuck? Yo, I need some candles. Am I dead? Well, I'll be damned. Good thing I just saved it. Yeah, I'm not beating this shit tonight, but none. Probably another stream or two. 3750. Was that the number? I really hope. But yeah, Jay Jatter, uh, yeah, my, my Mac, I literally was streaming on that thing for like a year, two years, up until when I got my PC like five, seven, eight months ago now. 3750, was that the number? Fuck. 
and my Mac would just randomly shut off all the time. I heard that fan roll on, and I knew that uh, it was real close to just turning off. Wish I had a pen. Oh, I have my phone. I'll snap a picture. Hey, that was the... That was the number. I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, I... Blah, 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 blah. I finished Days Gone. Delete. Almost not worth it. More forced walking moments than I ever want to deal with. Yeah, there is a lot of that. That's definitely true. There's a lot of... Yeah, from one area to the next, I I very much remember that. Did you like the soundtrack, though? Because I still listen to that. But I also enjoyed the game, so... Or I look back on it fondly. Maybe it was just the time, time of my life when I played it, but I don't know. Uh, better than Tilu 2. It doesn't have all the notes, more dynamics, and no choices. Yeah, I remember you talking about uh, shit about that game uh, before, JJ Outer. 3750? I down. I uh, I bought a game called Tormented Souls, and that has a puzzle in it. I think where you have to do some kind of. T Did I not do it right? Three seven five zero. Isn't that what I did? What the fuck? Um, was the bartender or some shit? What's this, what was this later bartender's memo? Uh, we had to change our phone number because of all the complaints. The last four digits of the new phone number. Not too smart if you ask me. Why, how the fuck? How do I know what the new number is? Do I gotta call it? I bet you we gotta call it or something. Yeah, shit's not open. I saw Mario movie and instantly streamed off my Super Nintendo by by just placing my phone by the TV. Kind of crappy, but I was just having a blast on the nostalgia. Yo, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Gotta do what you gotta do. How was that movie? I really want to see it. There's so many movies I want to see right now in the theater. I want to see that. I want to see the new movie with, with uh, Joaquin Phoenix. I want to see uh, Evil Dead, the new Evil Dead Rise movie coming out. I want to see all sorts of shit. All right, let's call this shit. See if they tell me a new number. 3750. Noise. Master puzzle solver over here. Killing it. 
Uh, the soundtrack was all right. Nothing jumped out at me like Low Roar and Death Stranding. Yeah, let me look up. Maybe if you give it another listen. Probably not, but. I'm trying to see which song I really like. There's two songs I really like. Hell or High Water by Billy Raphael. And Days Gone Quiet by Louis Capaldi. Oh, Soldier's Eyes. Yeah, I was actually digging a lot of those songs. Sounds to me like Soma. Yo, I bought Soma, man. And ever since you've been talking shit on it, I didn't want to buy it because I trust you. I trust you, man. I trust you with my life. But no, but I downloaded it, and then I was like, man, the nine said that game wasn't too good. I do want to try it for myself, but I wasn't pressed to get it so fast. A wall must have collapsed from above. I think I can make it through. What does that mean? From above? Oh, like, keep going up? Be gone! I'm starting to wonder, is Eileen supposed to be with me right now? Days Gone was a little cheesy. I definitely remember that one from, uh, from the credits. Solid production, though. Peace out, Zed. It was nice chatting with you. Thanks for stopping in and uh, chilling for a little bit. But I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Zed. You have to let me know what you think once you see those screenshots of Mr. James Sunderland from the new movie and all that. Fingers crossed. It turns out alright. I'm hoping for the best. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's complete shit. Uh, Mario was so much fun. We'll make you feel like a kid again. So many tributes to Mario games and Easter eggs for kids and adults of all ages. Everybody did a great job as the voices. I could not say enough nice things about it. Feel good movie. Yeah, man. I need a feel good movie right now. And Super Mario Bros. seems like... Seems like it could be it. It could be that thing. Yo, is Eileen supposed to be with me right now? No. She is supposed to be with me. Well, goddamn. Let's go find her. Damn it, Eileen. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, uh, Moko said he's going to hop back in here when I start up, uh, when I start up Eco. So 
So it'll be nice to chat with him. Fellow bro. Moco. Yo, Painted, did you guys... I don't know if Painted, if you're still in here. Did you guys finish up, uh... Did you guys finish up uh, Zelda? Hmm. Let's go find Eileen. I swear I've spent half this game just looking for her, or just trying to get her to follow me. Yo, who? Seth Rogen is DK. Seth Rogen is DK. Uh, Chris Pratt is Mario. Luigi is our dude from uh, Always Sunny. Well, hot dog. Son of a bitch. Uh, Peach. Peach is the, uh, the female from Queen's Gambit, right? Queen's Gambit, what else is she in? Uh, Split. Yeah, man. Solid cast. Keegan? Keegan, who's Keegan? Toad? The menu, the Northman, yeah, she's from a whole bunch of shit. Okay, the game is not bad. It's just, it's not for me, but it's not broken or irritating, and it's always engaging. The story, on the other hand, treats the player like they are dumbass. That's why I don't like it. Spoiler-free review. I like it. I like it, man. I know what you mean, though. Treating the player like a dumbass. I got gotcha. you. I think I got you, at least. Son of a fucking bitch. This fucking game, dude. I'm always... just... barely... alive. It's rough. This is a rough Silent Hill. It is, uh... They didn't fuck around. Let's just say that. I've been watching a lot of Cat in the Hat as of lately. My daughter just recently um, started really enjoying that movie, so I've watched it like three times in the last, I don't know, this whole week, three times on the, on the television. <gasps> Austin Pet, the Austin Powers movies are hilarious. I love, uh, I love that actor. What's, what's the dude's name? So bad with names. Uh, we were so close, but no, I fucked up and didn't have enough arrows. I literally played until I couldn't do anything. Oh, man. So what do you got to do? Do you have to go back and um, find some am ammunition? Or what do you got to do? Painted. I really don't know what to do here with uh, Eileen. Uh, when Seth Rogen did the Seth Rogen laugh as DK, everybody was laughing because all you hear is Seth fucking Rogen, not DK. Still funny though. He was cool as the that guy who hates Mario as a bully, but kind of feels the older brother who hates looking after his younger brother. 
Yeah, Limbo's always one hit away from death. Silent Hill 7, barely alive. Dude, this game... I don't know if anyone else found this game as hard as I'm finding it, but... I'm finding it hard. If that's not obvious. B12, I'm in the basement. My kids are obsessed with the Shrek at the moment. Ray, I had Shrek on... Yesterday? Yeah. I've seen that first movie like a hundred times, but we had the sequels going. Uh, I'm not even sure which one it was. Probably the third one, maybe? Oh, shit. God damn. I should go save it. I'm not feeling safe. Oh, fuck. It's not good. I want to go save it, but maybe I should. I'm scared my own room is going to kill me now, too, though. I'm in such a bad spot. Fuck. Come on, Eileen. Oh, fuck! I didn't know if that was Braintree or Eileen running up on me. Alright. What floor are we on? Michael Myers. Like the serial killer in Halloween. How did I not remember that? Yeah, Michael Myers. Yo, he's so funny. I used to love the uh, Awesome Powers movies. So good. I just have to beat the castle uh, Ganondorf and Ganon. So close, man. Is that like the, is that the top dog? Is that the bee's knees painted? I'm oblivious to the to the Zeldas. Uh, I don't play these games because I don't like being frustrated and scared at the same time. And Benign, the way you worded that is perfect, dude. I think... Um, nothing happened. I think that is the perfect, uh, like, combination of making not a bad game, but, like, a game people aren't, they're not going to want to play. And I don't think they understood that uh, back when they were making these games. Like, I'm kind of trekking through this game, but uh, the new Resident Evil games are, like, a perfect example of making you feel like you did something good and that you're making some kind of progress and um uh like giving you a pat on the back for playing the game and it being difficult at the same time but this is just like we're about to beat the shit out of you we're gonna make it hard as fuck you're not going to have fun. First and foremost, you're not having fun. Don't even think about it. Uh, but yeah, dude, the way you worded that is is perfect. You got to find the perfect combination of those those things. Being frustrated and scared at the same time. Oh, here, let's put the ball in here, right? Hey... We got rid of another thing. Oh, I bet you the cat goes in the, uh... The room... 
uh, in the the do the animal the animal store. I bet. I don't know if this is. I don't even know if this is a puzzle though. Because they were about to let me continue on with Eileen. Fuck. Alright. Hey! I did it. Let's get out of here, Eileen. Fuck that ghost. Fuck that ghost. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is there a new sound being played? I bet you that's the clock. Was the clock at the end of this room? That upside down clock room? Fuck. Let's run. Past this fuckhead. I bet you that noise is that clock, though. It might be. Let me turn it up. Let me turn it up right quick. Is that louder? Nothing's really going on, too. Someone seems to be in pain. A great deal of pain. Oh, fuck. Is this all the ghosts just being tossed at me at once? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, fuck! God damn it. Well, I'm just one single hit away from dying. Ugh. Fuck. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Welp. Oh, you got a health kit. Woohoo! More health. Ooh, fuck. Where's this taking me? God damn it. This looks like something you can go in. This is killing my, like, checking every nook and cranny thing in my brain. What just happened? Bitch, bitch. Little bitch. I made you my bitch. Jesse. Bitch. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. Jesse. Bitch. It's been a while since I heard that one. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things where I look back at Silent Hill 4 like, man, that was a cool game, but I'd much rather play Downpour because that's easier to get through. Lol, well, sometimes the better game is a better game when you just want to have fun and get through shit. Yeah, I agree, JJ Outer. Like, like this game, you, I love the idea of it, and but like, it is, it is a, man, it's hard. And it's like, you don't get congratulated too much. They don't throw like something fun at you. They throw some cutscenes at you, but you're not like... You know, yeah, like, the RE, RE remakes are a lot smoother, yeah. Like, I'm trying to, I've, I was watching a YouTube video and they explained it perfectly. They give you some fun, like, maybe they'll throw a shotgun at you in like, 10, 
10 zombies they'll toss you away and you just get to blast their heads off and just have fun with it but this game is just like just beating the shit out of you the entire way um i just got some surround sound of that sultry limbo vocal do not die or i will unfollow oh my god my god oh is this this is where i just came from huh I gotta find Eileen's ass and figure out how to get her up to the next um, level. Eileen always th throwing a wrench, wrench in my plans. Is that the right saying? Health ring at the end. Thank God. I mean, not laughing at limbo. I'm going to die. I survived. Got in a new area. Dog apes are ready to, to bounce on you. Dude. Like I said, this game is just... What? What is this shit? Uh, This game don't give no shits, man. Zero shits. No shits. I was watching, uh, I was watching someone play Siren. Have you ever seen any gameplay of Siren? Cause that game, now that game is relentless. This game's hard and, uh, a, a pain in the ass sometimes. But, um, Siren, now that game seems like you gotta really be dedicated to finish that shit. I want to play it. I probably won't play it on stream because that game seems like a big old clusterfuck. For sure. I need that candle. I need to save my game too. It's been a minute. Yeah, Siren is crazy. Have you have you watched a lot of gameplay from that, uh, Ray? That's the that's the dude that made um. That's the dude that made the original Silent Hill. Yo, what's up, The Unforgiven? How's your evening going? Hope you're doing swell. We are still cranking at this game, dude. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's taking me a long time. It is taking me a long time. Grove Street Locker. Waka Flocka Flame. Waka Flocka Flocka Flame. Waka Waka Flocka. Interesting. I never played it. It's an old game. I have to see if it's available on PS4. Dude, it is available on PS4. J. Jowder, do it. But you, dude, you gotta you're gonna have to watch some videos first because that game, man, uh, it is. That game is crazy. There's some weird things they were trying out with that. I'm not sure if any of them stood the test of time. God damn it, man. They were trying a lot of shit. I'll say that much. Okay, bottom is a no-go. Silent Hill is just soul-crushing depression. You have to be a sadist and want the punishment. I'd say that's accurate. I'd say that is accurate. I deserve this. The game wanted to punish me for my sins. Silent Hill 2 quote, I think, right? Isn't that Mr. James? Isn't that a James Sunderland quote? And this fucking dude. Let's go save it before I die and everybody wants to kill me. No, enter the hole. 
Not bad. Just... Just doing this to myself. Just... Just getting fucked up, man. Lim Limbo isn't playing Silent Hill. Silent Hill's playing him. It's always been that way. I don't even know where Eileen's ass is. I have no idea. Let's go take care of this ghost right quick. Hopefully that works. Because this guy's wrecking me. Is that working? Or is that a lost cause? That was most definitely a lost cause. That didn't do shit. Nope. It worked. Mistress of Locks. How are you doing? How's your evening going? Walter? Um, that is not Walter. This is Henry Townshend. I did see uh, Walter in the beginning when I first started playing today, but... Uh, the guy chasing me. Nope, that wasn't him either. I think that was just a ghost. Oh, no, no, that's a uh, Braintree. That's Richard Braintree. He was a dude that we... Uh... I'm not sure we did it. But he got... Uh, he got the electric chair. And got fried up. Yeah, the goal right now is to find Eileen's ass and get her to that area where I don't even know what it's at. I don't even know where that area was at. But I gotta get her there. I don't even know where she's at. But we're, uh, we're, we're getting there. I am five saves away from my last playthrough, which was about two, three years ago. I forget what it said. But we're definitely going to top it. That's going to happen. Uh, I miss how unforgiving some of these older games were. They really are. They really are unforgiving. They just beat the shit out of you. Just make you feel... Uh... They just beat you down. I have the worst possible memory. And the games I enjoy the most are games that you have to have good memory for. So I've gotten myself in a pickle. Just can't leave Eileen all alone. Alright. I'm putting the thing cap on. I'm confused. So there's Siren, Siren 2, and Siren Blood Curse, which is reboot, remake of first game? Yeah, I did call the numbers on the billboards already. Uh, I got that far. I got that door open. I was going the correct way. But then they asked me if I had Eileen with me. And I was like, hell no. I don't have Eileen with me. So, I left her somewhere uh, in the world. Just gotta find her. Uh, I wish they tossed her on the map. That'd be lovely. Did I leave her near the pet shop? I think I did. Uh, but, um... Jay Jowder, the initial game was Siren, and then Siren Blood Curse, I think the way I saw it explained to me was um, the technology got better super fast. So the same way they made Resident Evil 1, and then 
uh, remade it for the GameCube, it was the same sort of situation. I hear Eileen. I hear... Does that mean she can follow me this way? Because we got that... We got that TikTok door open. Yeah, I think this is where we want to take her. Noise. Um, the way I had it explained to me is they made Siren, technology got better, so the, the guy that made Siren 1 remade it. The same exact game, did everything, like, almost exactly alike. But, um, the game is supposed to be like a spoof of itself. If that makes any sense to you. They were kind of poking fun at their sel themselves with the remake of the game. Any other Texans out here? Anyone else? Nice. We gotta sample that, Benign. Yeah, Benign, I got some vocals in last night, dude. Um, I'm trying to record uh, the last bit of vocals for my last tune for the album. And I'm trying to do that before I move so that I can say that that's all prepped and I just have to track vocals and all that. So that'll be... Um... God damn it. Sorry, Benign. I did not know this guy came back into the world of Silent Hill. Thought he was Dunzo. Oh, 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 oh. It'll probably be another four years until I play this game again. This this is uh this one's rough. Let's do a full lap, see if we got any health or anything. Nada. Not a thing. But, I will be playing Silent Hill 2. I got that, uh, that... I got that, uh... HD? Not HD. That, that uh, fan-made Silent Hill 2 for PC. So that'll be cool to play. before Probably before Silent Hill 2 comes out. Fuck. You son of a bitch. Alright, Eileen, follow me, girl. I think we may have just progressed through this game a little bit. If we make it out of this this world, I will feel a little a little happier. Where's she at? Is she coming? Eileen, are you anywhere? No. No, she wasn't behind me at all. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 en Enhanced Edition. Eileen, come on, yo. Cheese and rice, man. She is all fucked up. Um. Oh shit! Fuck! Come on! Turn away from the monitor for one second, man. This game is just relentless. Fucking relentless. God damn it. Come on, Eileen. So I think that's how we get Eileen. Down the steps. Right? Yeah. I think we're going the right way. 
Yeah. Cool. Cool. Super cool. Uh, I gotta check PSN later, but I should look for OG game or remake. Hmm. Supposedly they fixed some of the really weird shit about... Oh my god. Oh my god. Supposedly they uh, fixed up a lot of the weird shit about the original game in the Blood Curse version. Made it a little bit more playable. Uh, I haven't watched the entire game or anything like that. I've just heard how difficult it is and I watched the one dude playing it the other day and by god man he was a tr he's a trooper playing it on stream and all that cuz not I Eileen if you don't get your ass over here I swear to god I swear to god I hear some of them, uh, what are they called? Gummy heads? Gum heads? Oh, he's up there. Uh, I always wanted to play Siren, but never got around to it. Yeah, I, same here. Um, I will play it one day. I feel like I feel like I gotta play that game, and, uh, another game I always hear, well, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about in the last couple years is, uh, Roll of Rose. I guess that was a big survival game as well, that just came out at the tail end of, uh, the PS2 generation, PS2, come on, uh, console, so a lot of people didn't get to play it, kind of like Conker's Bad Fur Day, oh my god, just jumping down, you fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we're making it. We're doing big things. We doing big things, man. I didn't have to ask the googly wooglies. Uh... I'm playing, uh, Eco once I'm done with this. And then after Eco, Silent Hill 4, most likely. Um, yeah, have you ever heard of Eco? It's, uh, one of the games, I guess it's related to, uh, Shadow of the Colossus and The Last Guardian. Family of games there. Uh, I played the other two just in the past four years, so, uh, I heard that's sort of in the same, uh, vein or same world as the, as those games. So... I'm playing that, Unforgiven. Yeah, I played Silent Hill 4 after PT Craze. And I haven't touched it since. Well, so sometimes I'm glad I just have the memory of it being awesome. And I'm not actually playing it and suffering and swearing. Renouncing. <laughs> renouncing it. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I want to play all these games on... I want to play them all, eventually, on stream. So, gotta do it. Got to do. I do enjoy it. I'm sure I'll look back on this, uh, playing this fondly even. It is a scary game. Just hard as shit. Slash relentless. It's a relentless game. Are there two Silent Hill 4s? Um, no, what do you mean, uh, Benign? Yeah, this is the only one. They haven't uh, remade it or anything. Uh, I'm trying to convince THC to stream Conker's Bad Fur Day. Have they ever played it before? I've only seen clips from it, but none. Oh, Silent Hill 2. Thinking about Silent Hill 2. Yeah, there's going to be two Silent Hill 2s once, uh, once they release that remake. I know this is kind of getting a little... Uh, Fanboyish, but uh, so I guess they switched. I don't. I don't have Steam, and I don't, I've never used Steam. 
Uh, but I heard they they switched the about in Steam of Silent Hill 2 remake from to be announced to coming soon. And I guess uh, I guess in the Steam world that means um, it's coming out soon. Actually, when, once that happens, but I don't really know. That's just fanboy shit. Oh, you're talking about me. Okay, you said you were playing Silent Hill 4 after Eco, but I think you meant 2. Yeah. I'm playing Resident Evil 4. Sorry, I meant Resident Evil 4. Remake. My bad. All these uh, 4s. Silent Hill 4 and then Resident Evil 4. Got my brain all scrambled. My bad. My bad, dog. Um, oh man, I love like uh, Eco. Shadow of the Colossus was my favorite, hands down. I mean, I sucked at it, but it was dupe. Dude, Shadow of the Colossus, so good. Um, yeah, that game was amazing. So good, so so simple. Sh such a simple story, but effective. You can pick it up, understand it. Um... For some reason, games that have no dialogue, and when you get when you understand the actual story, it just hits so much harder. Like Little Nightmares, um, Shadow of the Colossus, which I guess there is dialogue, but um, not so much. I don't know. But Inside Limbo, Little Nightmares, um, Shadow of the Colossus game. I don't know. I feel like there's something about it. Oh, Unforgiven, you gotta play The Last Guardian. Uh, I plan to play that on here eventually as well. For sure. I've only played that one time. Okay. We are getting somewhere. Kinda. Kinda getting somewhere. We're basically... Uh, trekking back through the entire world... Uh, of Silent Hill. That we already went through. Oh, it's not working. Oh, it's working. Well, fuck. Well, fuck. Um, this is a this is a boss fight, and I don't have any health, so we're gonna have to load it up. Unless I can wreck them with the axe. Which seems like I can. I'm still gonna die. Yo, inside does go hard, dude. They're they're working on Play Dead's working on a new game, but none. I can't wait to see what they're working on next. Ooh, we did it. I think this is the one. Me and Eileen going ham on this bitch. How many hits? Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Clarity. A feeling of pure clarity has swept across the chat. By God. That was perfect, Banan. That was perfect. Uh, feeling of pure clarity has swept across the chat. My bad. Scatterbrained. Uh, a perfect example of less is more. Inside goes hard. Inside goes hard AF, dude. Hard AF, man. Uh, but this, this boss battle is cool as shit. I guess you'd go around this entire... Uh, level and crack all these dudes a thousand times but until you find uh the one that damages all of them you just sit there and keep cracking them so many good games coming not even ready dude i'm my body's ready i am ready uh there's another game capcom's releasing um, for all my RE fans out there, has anyone else seen Pragmata? 
thing it's called. Uh, it's like a space game. I'm super pumped to see that. That'll be cool. Space. Uh, kind of seems like some Death Stranding shit. Capcom. Pragmatic Cat. Yeah. Uh, check that out if you haven't seen the trailer. I think it was released uh, like three years ago now, that trailer. And it's kind of been quiet ever since. By the way, late May, we may be heading your way. Gonna be five hours from the Berg. Oh shit, you going to WV? You hitting up the West Virginias? We'll have to talk about that, man. What are you guys doing? You seeing some fam or what? Yeah, I kind of forgot about it. Pragmata. Yeah, I forgot about it too. Well, not really. I actually Google searched it today because I was wondering where the hell it's been. I think last summer they took the little girl from the uh, the trailer and had her held hold up a sign saying that the game was going to be pushed back uh, either a year or a couple months or I forget exactly what they said, but they said it was pushed back nonetheless. I used all my ammo. It happened. Um, we getting the revolver out or what's up? Is that smart? Is that a good idea? I don't know. Or do I have too much ammo there? If I have to pick up more shit, I'm not going to be happy. Number one, ten heart. Number two, ten. Ten hearts. Ten hearts, Steve Carl. Ten. Ten heart. Ten hearts, Billy Locaine. Ten hearts, Miriam Locaine. Uh, number eleven, Assumption. Walter Sullivan. Twelve, Void, Darkness, Gloom, Despair, Joseph Schreiber. Temptation, Cynthia Velasquez. Source, Jasper Gein. Gein. Okay. So these are all the dudes that, uh. These are all the dudes that Walter's been killing. I'm so happy that I have progressed in this game. If even a little bit. Yes, sir. Going to see some fam. Might be a little bit of an East Coast tour. Oh, shit, dude. That's exciting. That's exciting, man. Yeah, we'll have to, t we'll have to chat about that. Are you guys driving? You guys driving to West Virginia? Or are you getting a, you getting a plane? It's Texas. Well, that's a... A 28 hour uh 28 hour drive what would that look like you ever done that It'd be a long ass drive man dude no shot i'm at the boss am i I had that weird dream today. The one with the man with the long hair and coat. He was crying and looking for his mother again. I saw that man with the coat 10 years ago at this apartment. He was going up the stairs carrying a heavy tool, an old looking bowl, and a bag that was dripping blood. Blood. Oh my, get oh my god, yeah, I'm looking at a photo for it. It says coming in 2022. Dude, it's 2023 and not here yet. Yep. So they were way off. Hey, man, as long as they make a good game, I'll, I'll, I'll keep waiting for it. Um, 
I never saw him again after that, but a few days later, the neighbors complained that they heard strange noises coming from the supposedly empty room 302. Um, so I took a look around room 302 and found signs that someone had been in there, but nothing odd other than that. But that's when it all started. I still hear strange noises coming from the window of room 302. Sunderland. Driving, staying in Tennessee, probably. Uh, yeah, 19 hours. We did that the first few times. Had to stop because it was getting dangerous with the lack of sleep and pain in Tennessee to overindulge on five-hour energy. So she was getting some, uh, some heart palpitation action. Some of that. Uh, yeah, that's a long-ass drive. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a long-ass drive, man. Yo, I think we're getting close to the end. I'm not sure how much more we got left. If we get close enough, I might I might go for it, but I really don't know. Okay. It's coming back to me, man. We're getting there. There's an old picture book and a red book here. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord, but one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone, but the baby made lots of friends at Wish House and everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. His friends told him how to wake up his mother, so the baby went right away to go and wake her up. Uh, but the mother wouldn't wake up. No matter how he tried, she wouldn't wake up. Because the one that he was trying to wake up was actually the devil. The devil. The baby had been deceived. Poor baby. The baby cried and cried and cried. When he thought of the mother, he remembered the feeling of being connected to her through the magical cord. Just then, a ray of light came down from the sky. The light was very warm and made the baby feel good. When the baby looked into his hand, he saw that the magical cord was lying there. With the cord clutched in his hand, the baby went happily to sleep. Yeah, I don't think we're I don't think we're at the end. I take it back. Uh after getting to this I'm think I'm having all the the harder bits popping up into my noggin right now. I don't think we're there. Uh she who is called the Holy Mother be not the Holy One wit. The descent of the Holy Mother is not but the descent of the devil. Those that be called the twenty one sacraments be not sacramental one wit. The twenty one sacraments be not but the 21 heresies to give birth to a realm of wickedness within the blessed realm of our, our Lord be blasphemy and the work of the devil. If that would stop the descent of the devil, you must bury part of the conjurer's mother flesh within the conjurer's true body. <laughs> that must also pierce the conjurer's flesh with the eight spears of void darkness, gloom, despair, temptation, source, watchfulness, and chaos. Do so, and the conjurer's unholy flesh will become that which once it was by the grace of our Lord and Savior. Uh, yes, yeah, is the room. But it's the room all spooked out. All grayscale. Um, yo, I, I told Jay Jowder, but I also went back and finally got an ending in Visage. Dude, that game was still scary all these months later. I was playing that game on, on the edge of my seat. Oh, shit. What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell has happened to it? Uh, this room, it is really my room. It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy, my head hurts. Creepy, it looks like a face. What the hell am I writing? August 2nd, Joseph. Joseph is the dude that I think lived in this room prior to uh, Henry. Fuck, I didn't read it. Okay, that's going to be that's gonna be okay. Uh, when the bell rings, Eileen equals mother's body blood. Joseph. The Crimson Tome. Tomb? 
Am I saying that right? Bury part of the conjurer's mother flesh within the true body of the conjurer. Part of the flesh equals super's room? Hmm. Um, true. Honestly, honestly, most important thing, make a good game, no rush. If it's good, people will hopefully play it versus advertising, promise release date, and everyone hates it. Uh, Cyberpunk, which took years for people to be kind of okay with it now. Don't listen to the, the gox. Uh, yeah, no, I was, ex I don't usually play that kind of game, but, uh, I was about to buy it. And then like release day, I heard all that shit. I didn't, I never purchased it and it kind of, yeah, kind of ruined it for me. But one day, one day I might still, I might still play it. Uh, the gate to hell. Uh, why must I destroy this wall? Enter the hole? What? Can I hit this? I know I gotta destroy that wall. Cutscene?